It's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we're here today on Public Square, and we're right out in front of a new restaurant, Pura Vida, yes. and we're here with Chef Brant Evans. Thank you so much for taking time, I'm excited Chef. to be here. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. You are doing some really cool stuff here with this new restaurant right on Public Square, mm -hmm. Pura Vida. Congratulations. Well, thank you. You know, we're a little bit, just a touch, four months old, about three and a half months, and I'm telling you, every week it's better and better. Uh, it's great to be downtown the center of the city, you know, feeling the heartbeat. It's beautiful. So, And you are working together with Tri-C's, the Hospitality Management Center, right here on Public Square. Correct. Wonderful synergies that we're sharing together. Um, you know, it's great to have access to the students right there. They come in, ask wonderful questions. And, you know, and I also can do meet demonstrations and stuff, and the instructors are phenomenal. So it's really exciting. There's some interesting culinary programs going on right here mm -hmm. at this uh, Hospitality Management Center. And you're involved in some of these, are you not? Um, right now what I'm doing is we're creating more of a, we're trying to do like an externship, internship program, but we still need to work some of the details out. Right. But what I am going to be doing over at the Hospitality Center is do some cooking classes. So really excited about that. What kind of things do you have planned? Oh, anything. I mean, all sorts of things from Indian cooking to uh, learn how to cook for one, you know, some of those empty nesters. Exactly. To, you know, some of those, you know, soon to be uh, brides that are, you know, have to cook for the hubby or the <laughs> hubby has to cook for, you know, the bride. So I'm going to teach you how to cook, going to teach you how to be sustainable, local, what to look for in grocery stores and the farmer's market. So good stuff. You're calling these gourmet cooking parties. Oh. So it's not, it, it sounds better than classes, right? I mean, it's yeah. a lot more fun, it's a lot more engaging. You know, I never did very well in school, you know, and when I hear classes, I get a little nervous. So, you know, when you come in, we're gonna have some wine, we'll pierce some beer. That actually goes with the food that we're cooking that day. And it's gonna be absolutely fabulous. And then after the, the party, we go over to Pura Vida and you eat what we learned, what you just learned to cook. It's gonna be f unbelievable. That sounds great. Now, oh. who, uh, who are these classes really for? What kinds of people? Is it, is it the full wide range or certain targeted areas? Well, I do, I have some. I have some learning how to make pizza with the family. You know, I think that's important to get the family back together, learn how to cook together. Um, we still go to restaurants, so, you know, only one <laughs> night a week. But, uh, you know, but then it's also, you know, a group uh, for, uh, you know, the after work business people that, you know, want to learn how to cook. I mean, cooking's hot right now. It really is. And cooking for yourself is hot, and there's a, there's a really hot restaurant scene here as well, correct? Unbelievable. I mean, the, the, the depth of talent of all the chefs that are in this city, I mean, I'm truly just honored to be just amongst them. You also have a, restaurants in Montana, or you, you have had restaurants Two throughout the country? Two in Montana, yep. one in Dallas, um, and the one that uh, I'm very, very proud of is Blue Canyon, and that's located in Twinsburg. In Twinsburg as well. Yep. So you've got experience in this region as well as around the country. Talk about what's unique here. What is going on in, in Cleveland here, because the, the scene is just blowing up. I'll tell you, the customers are just 10 times smarter than <laughs> people around the country. Really? I mean, Clevelanders, Northeast Ohioans, they know what confit is. They know, uh, you know, what sustainability means. They, they think it's very important that, and pushing us chefs to buy local. Um, you know, the, the customers, it's not just a meat and potato town. I mean, people are wanting to do more vegetables, more vegan, and they're not, you know, vegetarians. So, which makes our life a lot easier, because then we can be very creative. It's just people eating healthier. And this whole farm to table movement, that's really taken hold here as well, yes. right? And what's exciting about that is, you know, you really get a great relationship with the farmer. You could actually, you know, if some people have dietary needs or allergies, you really know where this product started. So you could follow the whole, you know, from the seeds to the field to, to my kitchen, then right. I could promise you an unbelievable meal. I noticed inside your restaurant, the first thing you see are uh, fruits, vegetables that are canned. Exactly. Uh, that you got it fresh in the season, mm -hmm. and then you have preserved them to use, what, throughout the winter, I Throughout said. the winter. I mean, it, it is one of the, you know, the downsides of cooking in Northeast Ohio. I mean, we can't get artichokes <laughs> year-round, you know, but what we can do is we can go canning. And it's nothing that I'm inventing. I'm just going back to what Grandma and Grandpa used to do. That's right. So, yeah. You know, I mean, it's, it's just the basic fundamentals of cooking, you know. I mean, we already bought in a bunch of corn, and we quick cryovac it, so we're going to have beautiful Ohio corn year-round. You know, and it's just for our shrimp chowder here. So, you know, I really, I didn't want to buy the frozen corn that's from somewhere else. I want to keep supporting the local, you know, industry and the farmers. 
and the local chefs as well. You're going to have some guest chefs, I understand, come in for some of these programs. Exactly, exactly. I'm going to reach out to you know people like Dante Bacuzzi, Dante's in Tremont. Right. Uh, probably one of the best chefs in the city. Unbelievable guy. Um, to all the other local and then also some you know farmers are going to come and teach classes with me and you can answer ask them questions about soils and stuff like that to um, some pretty interesting doctors that you know talk about you know dietary and health restrictions so so you see this really as a as a center for uh, the, the cutting edge of culinary arts in in this region where people will come here and they will learn and you'll have special guests and you'll do showcases and demonstrations you know that's our goal to make this the center you know we're in the center of the city and we want to be the center of the culinary mecca of of learning new and and brand new topics and staying on the cutting edge you have some favorite recipes or approaches that you take uh, with your with your menu here that, that you're going to be sharing with people? You know, what's, what's cool when you learn from a chef, you learn the little uh, tricks of the trade, we call it. Right. You know, why does my uh, pork chop taste better than yours or different than yours? Well, we show you why and how we execute that. So you're going to see that firsthand. And a lot of times then you just start asking questions about reservations or, you know, let's talk about martinis and the, you know, the dialogue is just unbelievable. So. There's a lot to learn in the hospitality industry, is there not? I mean, you're, you're a chef mm -hmm. and you're a star in the kitchen, but the kitchen is only the start of it, isn't that right? I mean, there's a whole range of things you've got to be really expert at in order to be successful. You really do. I mean, it, from, from the HR department to the legal side of things to um, just knowing your customer and what they want to eat. But the thing is, what's beautiful about being a chef is you're a student forever. You know, every month I buy two cookbooks, you know, and I study and I research and I'm online seeing what's hot, what's new. Right. You know, and that's the beauty of it. And, you know, to be a student forever, you're always learning. Speaking of what's new, where, where do you see the, the field headed? I mean, it's, everybody now is, it's entertainment. It's on television. Right. I mean, half the chefs in Cleveland have their own TV show. Oh, it seems I know, like. they're rock stars in this they're town. They're rock stars. Totally. Where are we going with all this? I mean, can it get any bigger? You know, I think so. And I think it's, uh, you know, Cleveland wants to repair Cleveland. Yeah. And that to be a part of that, it just feels so good down here. But you know, I think pork, you know, it's still going to be popular, it's still hot. But I think that's on the tail end. What you're going to really see is a lot of healthy eating. Right. A lot of the Mediterranean flavors are going to be coming. More of the the Greek style uh, feta cheeses and mm -hmm. the olive oils. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. people want to eat lighter. Mm -hmm. And you know, doesn't mean they want to sacrifice and just have grilled vegetables. There's so much more. So I definitely see more world flavors coming. More world, international, and, yeah. and you think lighter, more vegetarian, yeah, more you know, vegan. North, North African spices are, are right. becoming really popular because you could really season a dish up but not add a lot of fat and calories to it right. just by these spices from all over the world. Talk about the Cleveland scene versus what, what you see in Dallas or in, or in Montana, which are really world-class uh, cuisine cities. Mm -hmm. What are you seeing happen here? Is, has Cleveland sort of jumped into that league, do you think? You know, what's great is in the other cities, you can see a lot of restaurants that remind you of the same restaurant. Really? Cleveland is, every restaurant, every chef has his own way of making a vinaigrette or, or designing a menu. And so, you know, there's so many wonderful opportunities that people can go and eat and dine. And, you know, you're going to have a fabulous meal every restaurant you go. It's not that one person's better than the other. It, they're just different. Talk about Public Square here. You're, you're you're taking somewhat of a risk, I think, only because there hasn't been a lot <laughs> right here. Right. However, I mean, right over your shoulder is where the casino is, is, is headed, the Medical Mark Convention Center. You can Center. see the cranes, where the, the cranes exactly. are going to be. Um, right. You know, what I knew when I first came down here and I was thinking about coming down here, I knew Cleveland wouldn't throw Public Square away. You know, this is where it all started, and this is where it's going to go back. And for me to be just a small part of the revitalization of the city, you know, I'm doing my part and we need people to come down and, and help us local businesses out. Well, you've got a great patio here with one of the best views. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I a mean, better place to have a martini than here, you know? That is I mean, awesome. I mean, sit here, the War Memorial, yeah. you've got Key Bank Tower here. Yeah. I mean, this is the city. You see here the sirens and the, and the buses going by and tons of traffic and energy. Yeah. You know, it's hot. And, and we're expecting a lot of folks to come down, not just kids, but adults really, to these programs here at Tri-C mm -hmm. and learn, take themselves to the next level when it comes to their own cooking. You know, you might want to, you know, have six of your friends over. 
Well, I'm going to show you how to do like a four course chef's wine dinner and show you how to pair the wine with the right food, how to execute it so you're not buried in the kitchen. You have to spend time with your guest and show you those tricks of the trade, but you can do your own chef's dinner. Right, exactly. So, Well, thank you so much for sharing your expertise. I appreciate you coming down to Public Square. I'd love to cook for you. We're going <laughs> we're gonna to take you up on that. I'll tell you that much. Wonderful. Thanks so much. Thank Jeff you. Man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland. From Dinner. 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 Hit it. Hey, it's Tom. Oh, I mean, better mail. Hit it. Hey, it's Tom. From Dinner. 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 From Thank you. Thank you. Small ready. 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 Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Small ready. 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 Right.